Hello, I'm Jose Botero. Welcome to Arts 57, where today we're going to paint the facade of a small country drugstore. Once again, I'm going to be painting on 90 pound Windsor Newton paper. I found this paper at an art supply store near a college. They had a special sale and there came three or five sheets to a pack. I thought this paper would be perfect for these small watercolor sketches. Though it is 100% cotton paper, it is still a little thin for larger paintings. Driving through a small country towns helped me as an artist because the storefronts are one of a kind and have character. Perhaps some of the large franchises would also make nice paintings, but they are so commonplace and super abundant that many artists stay away from them, including me. Though I have to admit to doing an egg tempera painting inside a Burger King in the early 90s. You are lucky if you can find interesting people as part of your subject matter. Most of the time you have to add the figures yourself, as I did in this case. I just wanted the human scale and to give the store some life. When you are painting on such a small painting, it is hard to get enough detail into the painting. However, doing small paintings is a great exercise to develop your technique or to recover it if you are returning to your art after being away for a few years. I like the storefront of this small drugstore, but I used artistic license to move the lettering around. I didn't want the long wall to look as empty, so I stretched the signage a little bit. Once again, we had the challenge of a white wall. We can give it texture by adding some of the primary colors in a wet on wet technique. You have to be careful not to put too much pigment into the wet wash, otherwise your wall will no longer be white. Make sure you leave some of the white of the paper as well. I remember another occasion when I was traveling that I went to the pharmacy of a large store. That day, they were having a sale on Metamucil, the kind that comes in small packets. So we bought two large boxes. I also needed some framing wire and went to the hardware section and got several rolls of wire. The cashier was one of those friendly types that wanted to talk to everybody about anything as they came through her line. She started scanning our items and said, I can see you are going to be doing a lot of framing today. I turned to my wife and said, I'm just glad she didn't comment on the Metamucil.
Thank you for watching Arts57.com. We appreciate your visit. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to our channel now. Ring the bell to stay informed of future uploads. Don't forget to like the video and comment below if you have questions. Until next time.